Well, one of my favorite places to come to any time of the year, actually, is out here at Pine Hills Nursery in uh, Past Christian. It's north of the Dalil DuPont exit, exit 41, I believe it is. Exit 20. 21, 20. <laughs> yeah, 41's the other way. Don't go there, you'll never find them. Uh, exit 20, you go north, it's right up on the left hand side. Polly, how are you? It's good I'm, to see I'm you. I'm doing fine. Springtime is a great time to come to the nursery and really pretty up your yard. It is the perfect time. Everybody wants to get out after the winter weather and mm -hmm. you know just get out and plant something in the yard. And we've got lots to offer for that. Mm -hmm. uh, all the way from annuals up to perennials and hanging baskets. Now, as you can see here, the greenhouse is full. I'll say the greenhouses are full. Outside, they've got all kinds of beautiful greenery, but uh, let's, let's start on the inside here. Uh, well, these are some of our caladiums. We mm -hmm. have people that request plants for shade, and those are excellent for a lot of color in the shade. Right. Uh, very easy to maintain. We have lots of beautiful annuals, perennials. Uh, we have plants that attract uh, butterflies and hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. And our, one of our main things that we grow every year are hanging baskets, and we've got a large assortment of those as well. We also have people come in here to get uh, vegetable plants and herbs. So we have quite an array of things to choose from and a, and a lot of them. And the th great thing about coming out here to Pine Hills is the, you and your staff, you know, people have questions. What can I plant here? What, can I, what goes great in the shade? What, uh, well, you, you mentioned the caladiums. Caladiums are great in the shade, but you might want something to go uh, out in the sunshine. So. And all of our staff is real knowledgeable on the material that we sell. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you have a question or if you have, you know, a drawing of your, your uh, landscape and need some advice, we're glad to help. And we don't want to steer you wrong because we want people to have success with their plants that they get from us. Now, do certain plants do well with other plants? Uh, you know, it's like if, if you're going to pick, do I want pansies with petunias or do I want uh, begonias with vincas yes. or all, uh, some of them are better? Yes, one thing to keep in mind is the what certain plants require as far as their care. You want to give them similar care conditions. So mm -hmm. pick plants that are going to be in the same areas that like the same sorts of soil, same sun exposure and also their growth habit. Uh, you may mix uh, taller plants with trailing plants. Mm -hmm. Just keep in mind the size that something's going to mature to so one plant's not covering up another. You know, you just have to keep those things in mind. Well, that's why it's good to look and see what it says on the plant. This plant will grow so tall. Exactly. Uh, or you need to plant these plants so far apart. That's right. And there's a reasons for those, for that. Because, uh, you know, as you said, you know, you don't want all of a sudden your short plants in the back of your, uh, your flower exactly. bed and you know, all the tall stuff up front. And, you know, even though you like a plant a whole lot, you're really drawn to a plant, mm -hmm. just be sure it's going to fit your situation because you're not going to have good success if, you know, you're putting the wrong plant in the wrong spot. Somebody who's a beginner mm -hmm. that's just, you know, doesn't know a whole lot about, you know, plants in the yards or whatever, how, what do you usually tell them to start off with? Well, uh, some of the mainstays, for instance, uh, in shade would be impatiens, caladiums, begonias. Mm -hmm. They're not as many choices for the shade, but they're good choices. And then for the sun, we usually recommend things like sun coleus, uh, periwinkles, lantana, and especially for new gardeners because those are the easiest to, to grow low maintenance. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, seasoned gardeners, we always, always try to bring in new things, new exciting things. So when you've gardened for many years, you want something new and different, and we try to provide that as well as our mainstays. One of the easiest plants that I always found or flowers that I always thought was uh, easy to deal with were uh, marigolds. Yes, they are. I mean, they are. And actually, those grow well from seeds even. So, mm -hmm. yeah, marigolds are a good choice for a sunny area. Well, we're going to kind of just walk you through here and just show you some of the great stuff we have at Pine Hills Nursery Exit 20 in Pash Christian. Now, these are unique. Yes, this is called Trixies, and we have three different plants in one pot. So you can either keep them in this pot and just put them in a nice sunny area, or you mm -hmm. can transplant them to a patio pot or something at your entryway or a hanging basket, but it's three plants in one. It's, it's a good way to go about a combination pot. And a lot of uh, different colors as well. Yes, and we also have a lot of geraniums. We have varied colors in those. We grow the traditional red, and we also grow uh, lavenders and pinks, uh, corals and salmons. So we have a lot of different colors in geraniums, and that's an old standby. And of course, we do carry some of the beautiful hydrangeas for mm -hmm. the springtime and for Easter. Uh, so those are a really nice addition to the garden, too. 
a few things I'd like to show you over here is uh, our double purple angel trumpets. Uh -huh. And they also come in yellow and white. These are really beautiful angel trumpets, as you can see by these gorgeous flowers. Um, these will reseed, or they actually make seed pods that you can replant, or you can grow them in a pot and protect them for the winter, and they'll come back that way. But they do need protection, but two ways to keep them over. A couple of things that are unique to us, uh, we grow this blue tropical butterfly. Isn't that beautiful? That is, not, it looks like a butterfly. The flower looks just like a butterfly, and they actually do attract butterflies, which is really cool. But anyway, it's a nice perennial for a sunny area. Mm-hmm. We were talking about citrus before, and this is kind of a unique citrus that we have. It's called Buddha's Hand, and you can see here the picture of what the fruit looks like, uh, and they actually do look just like that. People use that for lemon zest or any kind of lemon flavoring. And actually, the last time I was out here, I tried that. Yes, it was it's a good. Really, really, it's a kind of a novelty plant, but you can still use it. You know, it's edible. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we grow here are roses. Yes. Uh, we have a lot of varied varieties of roses, including knockouts, uh, but many, many colors and types of roses. And uh, pottery. Yes, we carry Talavera or Mexican pottery, which is really unique in that even when it's a kind of a dreary time of year, no plants really showing up, the pottery itself is pretty. It just adds color to the yard and patio. And we also carry, you know, solid colors in, in ceramic pottery as well. And of course, one of the nice things about living here on the Gulf Coast is the, the, the temperatures stay fairly moderate year round right. to where, you know, you could probably put something in there if you have to take it in and out of the house. Right. You know, small pots or something like that, which I have done. Yes. Yeah, you because, know, you know, every now and then you get the fluke freeze. Right. But, and, uh, and it's one of those things that we do have to bring things in a few times a year, but it's good to have some, some nice pottery and potted plants on the patio for color. And, of course, you know, as again, as we've mentioned several times, being careful what you put in the sun, what do you put in the shade. Um, you know, like these beautiful ferns right here. You wouldn't want to put them in the full sun. That's right. And, and a lot of times people just really want a certain plant and mm -hmm. they're just trying to make it work in the wrong area and, you know, they'll be disappointed. So we try to steer people right into what goes in what area, you know, so they'll have good success. Okay. Now, tell us the hours that you're open here. We're open 8.30 to 5, Monday through Saturday and 10 to 4 on Sunday. So we're open seven days a week. And it's real easy access to us off of I-10. We're at exit 20 north, mm -hmm. which is the Leal. And you're just going to go a quarter of a mile, then you'll see our sign, and you'll find us. It's real easy to get to us. Another thing we've added were animals. We have various animals here. Yes. For, so you can bring your children and grandchildren, and it'll be an outing for them while you shop. Polly, thank you so much. Pine thank Hills you. Nursery, you need to fix up your house. This is the place to come to.